It tastes so much like me, I can't tell. Hello, Familia from San Francisco. Uh, we decided to travel out to San Francisco today and we've got a couple little things planned. Um, obviously, we're gonna eat because that's what we do. I associate being in Northern California with being in a healthier mindset, but I'm not gonna take you on a trip down memory lane today. Instead, I'm taking you out to try some vegan Filipino food at a restaurant owned and named after Chef Reyna. Hey, hi, Chef. Hi, guys. Hi. Chef Reyna hails from Dumaguete City on the island of Negros and moved to the Bay Area in the late 90s. Her story is such an inspiration. Oh, that's so fabulous. Thank you. In the past year, she has decided to launch her own brand as Chef Reyna and open her storefront in 2021. My husband doesn't actually eat any meat. He mainly eats seafood. So I've struggled um, with some things in trying to prepare them in a vegan sort of way. So I was super excited when I learned about Chef Reyna and what she has to offer and to see she's got a full menu of Filipino food that's all made vegan style. Her restaurant is typically a takeout style and she made this beautiful little spot for us in the back. I am so thankful to Chef Reyna for that and so excited to try her food and maybe learn some of her secrets. A lot of testing, testing, testing. So sometimes you'll, I'll get it right away, but sometimes it takes three months for me to perfect. Here's the crab cake. Oh, thank you so much. Guys. You need some spam subies right now? I'd like to try some really. Mm. That's what it was. It's exquisite. It's exquisite. Vegan lumpia. Oh, that sounds crunchy. Oh, it's so crunchy. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Mm. That is really, really good. Yeah. You can't tell that that's not pork in there at yeah. all. Yes. That is amazing. It tastes like a regular, normal lumpia. I eat with my hands. No. It's sticking. So good. Wow. I want to know what's in there. I'm trying to pinpoint that flavor. I feel like I taste zucchini, maybe? Or some kind of squash. Yeah, that's not actual fat. I have no idea. I don't think it is. Hey guys, today I am eating vegan spam musubi. So it has, a, it has a sesame seed taste. It's really hard to tell if the spam is vegan. It tastes like the one that mom has back at home, but um, this vegan spam is much juicier. I don't know why. And the rice, it just it's really soft, and then it mixes well with the seaweed, and they all mix together really well. Olympia, and dip it in the soy sauce. Oh, the soy sauce. And then dip one end in the other sauce. Mm. That is very crunchy. And the soy sauce gives it a salty flavor. And then when you bite into it, it's very crispy. Sauce. All right, viewers, I just had a brilliant idea. Since usually whenever we eat, we're ordering meat dishes or things that are not necessarily vegan friendly, vegetarian friendly, pescatarian friendly. So today, we are gonna let my husband share his thoughts on some of the food that we're trying because he can actually eat it this time. Hey, handsome. What do you think of those crab cakes? Mm. It's great. You also said you haven't had lumpia in a very long time, like real legit yeah, like lumpia. Three years. This is so good. I I can't tell. It's lumpia shaped. That this is vegan. That looks like real meat, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, and it smells, it has it that like, caldereta smell, that tomato right. sauce with a oh, little bit of it that smell. Yes. It smells like, like a real Filipino. Perfect. 
place. This is the uh, caldereta and then the tocino and then we're coming out with a little bit more. Smells heavenly. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> so what we ordered or what we've got so far here is right over here is lechon kawali. Um, garlic rice, of course. We have tocino, caldereta, and sizzling sisig. It's literally sizzling and it smells all of it smells incredible. And here's the tapa. It's our newest addition um, with its uh, new partner called Next Meats. They're from Japan. Oh. And this is certain meat that they, 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 you know. I truly had no idea what to expect. I mean, I knew it was vegan. And really, my experience with vegan food has often been that it's not entirely appetizing and it lacks flavor. But this experience is something I was in no way prepared for. I'm gonna make the best food I can, yeah. and I don't, I don't care how long it takes me. Um, and this is how I convince people to go vegan, or at least have vegan food, right? Two, three days a week, or yeah. a day, even a day, you know, or a, a meal, you know. Wow, it's very juicy because of the tomato. I can't tell if it's meat or not. Yeah? It looks like meat. And it smells like meat. Uh -huh. And it tastes like meat. Thank you, Chef. Mmm. Mm. That is very juicy. It tastes so much, it tastes so much like meat. I can't tell. Mm. Well, you're not supposed to tell. What does it taste like? What are the flavors in there? Meat. <laughs> and then it's just... It's so juicy, mm -hmm. so flavorful, and then the texture is super soft and squishy, and it's so easy to bite through. And with the tomato and some garlic rice, it is delicious. Let me try this tocino. Mm. The garlic rice is amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Kason, you are so right. This melts in your mouth. It tastes like real tocino. Oh, and there's like an extra bit of not flavor bomb, like Rowan explained, that sort of hits you while you're eating it in the middle of it. Like you don't get it right away. And then as you're chewing, it just, it starts like more flavors just start coming. Mmm. That sauce is really good. It has a little bit of a a sweetness to it. Super savory. There's so many different flavors happening in there right now. Flavor bomb! <laughs> Flavor bomb. <laughs> Punso is so right. I'm gonna try some of the vegan meat in there. So tender. Wow. Flavor just like the regular beef that you put in called it at the how it just melts in your mouth. I've tried this at home and I cannot get it right. Meat. It tastes like meat. <laughs> it tastes like it tastes like lechon, but it's not as crispy. And then there's a little squishy part. It's like in layers. It's a hard part, squishy, hard part, squishy, mm -hmm. and then it just mixes. I'm gonna try it now since you guys are all raving about it. The sauce looks homemade too. So good. Mhm. Wow. Wow, I haven't tasted legit. It's like having the actual pork and then the fatty bits all together in your mouth. Perfectly seasoned. This is amazing. Like it bomb. It's amazing, I don't know how she does it. Questions? Yes. Where did you come up with all of these recipes? Uh, very difficult. <laughs> Not <laughs> um, It's basically trial and error, so I've only been vegan six years, not for like 30 years. So I remember what meat tastes like. I remember all the textures. I know. I remember the flavors. So I think that's the advantage about being vegan not so long like the others. I'm still chewing my tocino. And this is a new dish that Chef Reina just uh, introduced and it is a beef tapa. Um, not a real beef though. I can't wait to try that because that's, tapsi log is one of my favorites for breakfast. You can't tell. 
it tastes real it tastes like real meat it's this is unbelievable look at the textures and the lines peppery soy it's got a grilled like charred smokiness to it like the ball so good so good whoa that smells like real meat it's very it's very well seasoned and marinated. Mm -hmm. And the onion and gives it like a, a kick. Mm -hmm. And the beef pepper tastes like ribs. Like ribs? Yeah. Well, first you get the taste from the peppers. And then you get the like vegan pork bits. And that tastes so much like real lechon or pork. And then mix it with the garlic rice. And it gives it a sweet sort of taste. And it just and it just feels amazing. How did you get this to taste like meat? <laughs> you know what's funny? You know how we cook meat and then we put a lot of spices in the meat? So it's basically the same thing, but I'm not using meat. I'm using the fake meat. I just have to do more things to it because it's not it doesn't have the texture of mm -hmm. meat. And then I add in the spices that I would normally for the meat. Kuya is tapping out. I can see it in his face. Yep. Seasick's perfect. Perfectly on point. It tastes like pork seasick. Can't tell. I, I would eat here every day if I could. If I lived close enough to do that, I would be here every day. I feel like my mind has blown up. I can't tell if this is reality or a dream. This tastes just like meat. What was your favorite? Tocino. The tocino. Yay! Like hands down, you said that fast. Tocino for the win. Why was that one your favorite? It just tasted just like meat. It was so good. So good. Mm -hmm. And they got it has that juicy flavor too. And so, what was your favorite? <laughs> Lumpia Shanghai. <laughs> hey, of course. That's awesome. I feel like this is a trick to just get people to eat healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm glad that that's the biggest compliment ever. You know, I, I worked really hard to, to get it to where, you know, and I'm so glad that you, you, you said that because when people say that to me that aren't vegan, I'm, I'm really like excited. I feel like I'm trapped in a dimension where meat is vegan. Oh, <laughs> yes! Oh, I love that's that. Awesome. That is amazing. We sat there in wonder, trying to figure out what sort of sorcery Chef Reyna was up to in her kitchen. And she was gracious enough to share some of her culinary knowledge with us after we ate. Did you grow up in the Philippines? Absolutely. Or? Born okay. and raised. I came here when I was 23. Wow. Yeah, so I was like meat, heavy meat eating Filipina uh -huh. um, until about six years ago. Wow. Yeah. Here. So I've been cooking since, you know, I can't remember with my, my grandma was a, an amazing cook. Mm -hmm. She, I just was around this my whole life. And then I didn't know that it was really my passion until I worked a corporate job. I just turned in my dream or my passion into my job. And yeah. It's, it's, I'm very lucky to have a job that, you know, I can wake up and be happy to do it every does day. It feel like a job? No, it doesn't really. I mean, it's, I love the people who work with me and they're just amazing. Plus, one of my favorite things about Chef Reina's offerings is that you can actually order vegan care package items from her menu and have them shipped directly to you anywhere in the U.S. All right, so that is it for us here at Live in La Vida Tagalog. I hope you enjoyed our episode today of us trying vegan Filipino food. And if you ever find yourself in the Bay Area, come on out to Chef Reina's spot. It's like 10 minutes away from SFO, so close. Even if you're on a layover, you need to leave the airport and come out here and get some of this food. It's amazing. Um, and again, that's it for us here. Live in La Vida Tagalog. Salamat. Ingat till next time. Ingat next time. Ingat. I'm getting goosebumps on my goosebumps, and goosebumps on my face, and goosebumps on my legs. I ate.